So I don't have too much to go over today. Just a few small, medium-sized stories that are actually kind of big in their own right. But like I said, not too much. I'll try to skip to them and read through them, blah, blah, blah. Jump right in, shall we? So first things first, there are a few confirmed games that we can expect for the PlayStation 5. These ones include the Ghost of Tsushima, Dying Light 2, God of War 2 slash 5, uh, GTA 6, um, Death Stranding, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, Elder Scrolls 6, as well as Starfield. Um, those, those ones aren't really expected to launch anytime soon, however, they are something that are expected to launch on the PlayStation 5 when they do eventually launch. Uh, those are a few things that are confirmed, but as far as any technical details, nothing is, well, really confirmed at this time. There is a whole heap of rumors, including price, uh, processing speed, processing power. Some of those I've even propagated myself. But the fact remains that nothing is confirmed at this point. And nothing, nothing will remain, nothing will be confirmed until the 12th of February next year, when PlayStation has their big state of play announcement detailing everything that we can know about the PlayStation 5 before it launches next year. Hopefully, we can actually learn a little bit more about what we can expect hardware-wise from the system when they do make that big demonstration. Something else that is certainly going to bolster Sony in the coming VR awards that them, Facebook slash Oculus, and HTC is their recent acquisition of Ocular Insomniac Games. Insomniac you may know from a few notable productions such as Edge of Nowhere, The Unspoken, Marvel Spider-Man, as well as a few older titles that you thought be, like a Ratchet and Clank series or the Spyro, the Spyro the Dragon series. And there is one that's getting ready to launch later this year called Stormland. That one is in fact an Oculus Insomniac has, well, they have a large pool of VR talent. And because virtual reality is at this point a relatively new medium, it stands to reason that Oculus is no doubt going to be hurt by this. Because uh, Edge of Nowhere, The Unspoken, Feral Rights, as well as Stormland are all Oculus titles. So those kinds of uh, major releases are surely going to show they're kind of uh, they're surely going to show that level of expertise in the coming years when Insomniac works on those major titles for the PlayStation VR 2, whether it launches next year, 2021, maybe 2022. I doubt it'll launch that late. But in any case, Insomniac is going to help Sony. And this acquisition is definitely going to hurt Oculus a long way. So that's really all about it for this piece. One of the other things that's certainly going to hurt Oculus slash VR in the coming weeks and months is the fact that Max Cohen, their VP of mobile, just recently left his role earlier this month. Quote, 
pursue new skills, and incubate ideas. During his time there, he led a few notable projects, such as Gear VR, Oculus Go, as well as starting the journey for the Oculus Quest, which in itself was one of the major innovations in virtual reality, and continues to be likely will remain that way for some time. Because a standalone virtual reality system is a massive achievement in and of itself. While each of those projects were, of course, team projects, it cannot be cannot go without saying that they lost a major player here. As projects have paved the way towards something better, something that all of us are, well, most of us are proud to own. I, I'm personally too to own one, but that's beside the point. Those of you who already own one of those systems, especially the Oculus Quest, are very happy that you have one, probably. And one thing you're likely going to do after you turn off this video is thank Facebook and their loving privacy feeling embrace for the chance to own an Oculus Quest for your very own. So, hopefully, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure the company itself is going to be heading in the right direction as James, as Jason Rubin is still there, and he is, of course, the VP of Oculus at this point. Um, however, Max Cohen is not the first and likely will not be the last of the Oculus officials who will be leaving, who have left Facebook. So hopefully we don't have to lose too many more people, but the rate at which we are losing major players in that company, to a point astounding. Hopefully, Mr. Cohen lands on his feet, and I'm sure the company will as well. One more game I'm ridiculously excited for is the PlayStation VR exclusive Iron Man. While this game could have easily fallen into the trappings of a rail shooter along the same lines as Until Dawn Rush of Blood, it didn't. This instead combines the flight aspects that you would expect from being able to wear the Iron Man Mark VII with the, ex with the aspects that you would expect from a standard combat simulation. The, ex the closest parallel I could think of at this point would be Ace Combat 7. Not sure how many of you have played that game. Date. However, with that release back in March, was I'm, I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong, but that that game, Ace Combat Seven, is going to be remarkably similar to Iron Man VR. That you'll be able to see the UI, you'll be able to fly around, you'll be able to shoot stuff, and not only that, but Iron Man VR, which is releasing later this year, is expected to be a full-length game, courtesy of Camouflage. So if you've ever wanted to feel the most like Iron Man, this game, Iron Man in VR, which, like I said, is expected to launch exclusively in PlayStation VR later this year, is going to be your best bet. If you guys are still here and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The first one, you can go to HumbleBundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not, you're not only able to get some good software or books 
or games or what, whatever it is that you're, you're choosing. But you're also able to support a charity of your choice. They have a few different ones available, so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals. The, even though, well, animals are always a good one, aren't they? And then, if that is up your speed, I'm selling these headphones on Amazon. Link on screen. I personally use them. I really like them, and they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you, I've got a link on screen also for my Patreon. Well, up here somewhere, I, I don't know where I'll put it, but you'll find it somewhere, I hope, probably, maybe. Uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.